All right, how's she going there, boys? Now we're on another road trip uh, up north. I can't really tell you where, but it's kind of a nice place way up north. Oops. Anyway, sorry, road sign there. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to uh, look at another toy, as if I get enough projects already. Um, couldn't resist it. It's, a, it's supposed to be a Suzuki Samurai half track, but the half track part is missing because the guy that sold it to this guy um, put it on another vehicle. Maybe I'll include a picture down here. Pretty cool, anyway. All right, let's go look at it and we'll see if we're going to bring her home. We brought the trailer just in case. You know, you just never know. Almost there. Alright, so this is a half track beast. It looks like they're using trailer tires. We'll go through this in a minute. We'll get this towed out of here and get it on my trailer. We just had the Boost Buddies truck there. It's got the engine in the back, backwards. We'll get a close up look at this when I get home. 1100 Suzuki engine in it. And it's using all trailer hubs by the looks of it. Not bad. It's been cut in half and narrow too, is it? That's what makes it look kind of funny. Okay, we're all loaded up on the way home. I'm gonna tighten my straps back down here. See that a bit loose. All right, off for home, and we'll have a closer look at this beast. All right, so we didn't make it very far. I think I just blew the transfer case out of the truck. Waiting for my brother to come pick us up. Not happy. Okay, so now we're safe at home. Well, half of us, anyway, the truck's still up on the highway. I parked at a gas station, but work out how I'm getting that home after. Uh, I think I blew the transfer case. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I just let go, come over top of a hill, and the truck started revving. But um, when you put it in gear and try to put it in park, it sounds like the park pin's starting to go in. So it sounds like the transmission's still moving, but I'm not 100% sure how that transfer case is made in there. And I don't understand why it would let go without you know, made the four-wheel drive. But anyway, let's get a closer look at this beast. All right, so she has a 1,000cc Suzuki engine in it. Um, it might have been out of a Swift or out of this original buggy. Half-track, let's call it. I'm not even sure what we're going to call it. 
I noticed when I put it on the trailer that she got a wicked antifreeze leak so I'm hoping it's not a head gasket or something like that because you never know why they stopped using it but it does uh, I'm not 100% sure that looks like copper pipe but it's using this typical trailer parts bearings and everything which is a good idea except I don't think those tires are going to be wide enough but we'll cross that bridge when we get there this stuff is fairly cheap to buy so uh, um, it's going to be need to be beef, beefed up a little bit. You can see where the front end's been bent there and there a little bit. So we'll get a few more, a few new rims on it. Even the drive axle. Uh, I'm not going to crawl in there right now, but it's using the original Suzuki Samurai drive axle, and I think it's been cut down. But you got these trailer hubs on here. Sounds like the bearing's gone in it. So should be fairly easy to pull it out though from here and put a new seal and bearing in it. And we're gonna have to make some kind of idler bearing wheels right here. Obviously they are smaller than this. You can see they put something on there to keep the track tight. So we'll have a look at this, see what we can do with the suspension. Because I don't have a picture of what he had on it before. Now someone's went through a lot of time and money to fabricate this and that's why I kind of like it. Um, you can see they made a nice cover for the engine um, and various other spare parts still in here. Now this whole thing has been cut in two and squashed back together so it's narrower and I don't think it's been shortened up any but uh, let's see. Now it still uses the clutch pedal brakes and I'll show you how that works in a second. Gas pedal and the, the, shifters, the shift pattern is backwards. It's got a four speed in it. The guy said the heater still works. You can see they cut the dash in half, stuck it back together. See right there. Oops. And they cut the whole thing in half, put a new roof on it. So it's well built. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time on it. We'll see what we can do with it. Oh yeah, it's only got 48,000 on it. Now you can see the hood has been shortened up cut right there and you can see that it's been cut at the top and someone spent a lot of time putting body fill in it to make it look nice. Let's see if we can get this hood open. And you see the red ears at the front. Well I can't get the hood open for you right now and I give up trying. Um, this thing does use the front, the transfer case originally come with it and it's turned around backwards and they use the parking brake as brakes and you can see they have some kind of suspension on the front, but uh, some of this is a bit weak, so it's going to have to be uh, beefed up a little bit, I think, because that's a little, looks a little bent, but maybe it just needs a bushing in here. Probably needs a bushing in here, right there. So anyway, when I get the hood open, I'll show you guys under there. It's got a gas tank in here. It's got a fuel gauge hooked up, um, and the battery goes on this side. I just I pull the hood release inside the glove box, but so it doesn't seem to be working out very good. So we'll uh, get a closer look when I get it off the trailer. Actually, it might just stay on the trailer for a while. But there you go, guys. More uh, projects that I don't have time for, but I thought it was too cool for the price, and you couldn't do all this work. It'd take you a long time. There's many hours involved in what this guy did before. You can see it's got shocks and struts right there. Looks like air shocks in the front, right there, and then a coilover shock there. Um, and it probably had some kind of suspension here. In the back, they are using torsion bars for a trailer, and it's actually bent a little bit. So, you might have to put wider tires on the back because um, it looks like they're laying out a little bit. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Well, I'll just go at starting it up maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, I have to figure out how to get my truck home first and probably going to have to put a water pump in the caddy and drive it. Uh, I'm not sure if it blew the transmission. I'm pretty sure it was a transfer case, but not sure how that's possible. But anyway, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And yes, I'm doing the TerraJet before I get at this one. I'll take you inside there. Hang on a second. Okay, so we're back in the messy garage. Tankenstein's become a shelf again. Poor girl. We have a car show in April. 29th in Ottawa I believe we're gonna go to if I can get the truck fixed you can see I got the motor sitting in the Terrajet I have 
clearance issues right now. It's really tight against there and it's really tight against that clutch. So the whole engine's got to come up and then I got to put the drive belt on there. Jade, the new farm dog. I don't think I showed much of her. Jade, she's uh, over two years old now and she's a little protective. So did socialize her, right? I guess. Come on, go in the back here. Okay, so please comment, rate, and subscribe. And we're going to have a lot more videos on the go here soon. Uh, weather's getting nice now. It's plus nine today. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Tell me what you think about that Suzuki. Um, what you would change about it. Because uh, some things I don't like. I'd rather make it a full track. But the motor may not have the power to turn all that. So uh, yeah. We're probably just going to go with it, what it is. And make some tracks out of it. I could put chains on it I guess. But I don't think they'd be too narrow. Instead of using track. But anyway. Let me know you guys opinion. See what you think. And we're going to get this hood open. And get this thing going and very soon. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.